So for the last 10 years in Myanmar, we've been um, focusing on bringing good design to families living under, with, um, making less than $2 a day in rural Myanmar. And so we, we focus, we've um, developed a design lab with professional, a team of professional designers, both expats and Burmese, and designing cool products to um, boost their incomes. And we've doubled um, incomes of a million people. But um, design is one thing. Designing products is one thing. It takes just as much design and innovation to deliver these products to, you know, the last nine miles to um, remote villages where most of our customers live. Um, and so there are many common distribution channels. That's what I want to focus on today um, that social enterprises use. Um, a lot of mom and pop stores um, are a network that we all tap into, um, but they're located in towns and normally 10 miles away from villages, so they're not that convenient. And so then there's also a whole network of um, village agents, independent village agents, or Avon ladies, if you will, who are, for, for us, we have like 800 of them around the country, and they're product users, they're evangelists, who really like our products, who've, who've, um, whose lives have been transformed. And so they also have kiosks in their villages. And then there's um, some social enterprises which tap into um, village self-help groups. They're made up of committees of um, organizers in the village. And this particular uh, group in the Delta, um, in, in Burma, they've organized the whole village to buy solar lights um, from us. So the key design question for us is, um, as uh, designers is, in designing distribution channels, is how do people want to buy our products? And instead of focusing on what's most convenient for us, I think we have to really understand how is it that people at the uh, bottom of the pyramid want to buy our particular products. Some people, some customers will come into town, all the way into town, and want to select their particular pump. And they don't want to um, order it sight unseen. So they want to choose it and bring it home themselves. Um, and you know that's, that's why we have our mom and pop stores who carry our products. Others want the convenience of having the pump delivered straight to the village where they can road test it and they can get up around with other farmers and talk about the pros and cons, whether it's worth the money, their hard-earned money. Um, so we need to be able to provide our products, deliver them conveniently. Um, it also depends on the type of product you're, you're marketing. And when we launched and introduced drip irrigation, a, a completely different technology, a radical technology for farmers, it took a lot of hand-holding and real customization to um, design it for a particular farmer's plot. And so that was, that was a new distribution channel. Um, we borrowed from IKEA and we said, okay, we need to make our products much more easy to install. So we designed our, our foot pumps to be sort of snap and go. And that cut down on a lot of um, you know, the cost in the distribution channel. Um, some products are not so high touch. They uh, don't require that kind of hand-holding. So we have uh, solar lanterns that we sell to rural families. And they are usually done um, in bulk. Uh, a whole village will get together and buy you know, 100, 100 uh, solar lanterns. And they all um, organize themselves into groups. And products are also, we have to pay close attention to how our women customers buy products, because um, we have to design our channels to <coughs> appeal to them. They normally you know, like to make decisions on their own and uh, among themselves. So that's a very important part in designing a distribution channel as well. Um, I think the most important thing is financing, product financing. As someone put it, um, distribution is king, financing is queen. And um, you know, cash, people at the bottom of the pyramid are cash strapped. If you can't offer a way to finance your product, there's no way you can sell it. So as we design for our cu rural customers at the bottom of the pyramid, it's really important to keep in mind multiple channels as well as you know, how to lower the cost of transaction when we um, uh, distribute and, and um, sell these products. But um, in the end, I think the most important thing to not lose sight of is um, that we, are we need to discover how our customers want to buy.
our products. Thank you very much. Thank you.